As far as American sitcoms go, there is many that are hit or miss, but today we are going to be talking about one of the most loved sitcoms ever created, asking the question, what happened to that 70s show? That 70s show is an American sitcom that takes place in the 1970s, obviously, and it is originally aired on Fox on August 23rd, 1998. The show takes place in the fictional Point Place, Wisconsin, and mainly focuses on the teens, Eric, Donna, Hyde, Kelso, Jackie, and Fez, but frequents Red and Kitty Foreman, Eric's parents, as well as Lori, Eric's big sister, and Bob Pinciotti, Donna's father. Obviously, there's loads of other characters in the show, but in the series as a whole, these are the most important characters. Just as a cool side note, Topher Grace actually got the part uh, because Terry and Bonnie uh, Turner, the creators of the show, saw him perform in a high school play that they attended for one of their children, and that's how he got the part for Eric Borman. And also, Mila Kunis, who played Jackie, lied about her age, saying that she was close to 18 years old to the creators of the show when she auditioned, but in reality, she was only 14 when the pilot episode was filmed. Anyway, like I mentioned, this show was created by Terry and Bonnie Turner as well as Mark Brazil. This show was very, very popular for its genuinely funny jokes, great character development, and drama throughout the series. Some of this, come on! <laughs> Donna, hey, whatever you think happened... I, I know what happened. I found these in your car. Panties? Aha, uh -huh, so he admits there are panties. <laughs> hey, next time you fool around with someone else's boyfriend, why don't you take your panties when you're done? Those aren't mine. Mine are white and cotton with a little pink rose in the front. <laughs> so these are some other girl's panties? Whoa, whoa. No offense, Donna, but dude, you're on fire. <laughs> you know what, Eric? I don't need this. <laughs> Donna, look, you have to believe me. I have no idea whose panties those are. Donna, those panties are mine. Eric! <laughs> Despite all the fights and drama, they always hung out together and were always very, very close. The characters frequented The Circle in Eric's basement, which was essentially them smoking weed, but they called it The Circle to avoid the censorship of the late 1990s. Uh, the Circle moments were some of the best moments in that 70s show and were an element that set the show apart. Wow, good pot. There's gotta be like four or five bucks in there. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going down. I got a full house. I mean, what do I got? <laughs> Why have we got a lot in C? Kelso, I know you think you got a full house, but you're only holding two cards. <laughs> Swell rates. This is great. It's one in the morning, I'm not alone. I'm not alone, this is great. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to brag. My belt's getting pretty tight. I think Operation Fat Eric is well underway. This show was a coming of age story done right with great characters, great relationships, great cast, great chemistry, and great writing. This show also started the careers to some big stars. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher perhaps the biggest names, but Laura Preppen has become a superstar once again for her role in Netflix's Orange is the New Black. And Danny Masterson who's gotten many smaller roles but has worked on many movies and TV shows since the show's end. So what happened to the show? Well, the show was massively popular and remains on TV regularly even 11 years after the show's conclusion. The show has 8 seasons and is one of the most loved sitcoms ever created. The show's premiere was tied for 21st place according to Nielsen ratings for overall viewership on its air date, but the powerhouse potential came when the show showed at number 1 with the most difficult audience to acquire which is 18 to 49 year olds and remained popular with that audience throughout its run. 
Despite all of its success, there were many issues behind the scenes. It's said that Topher Grace was kind of jealous of the other actors to the show being more popular than him. And more specifically, a lot of this was towards Ashton Kutcher and this kind of came to light when Ashton Kutcher was flooded with movie and TV roles during the show's run, even landing him punked on MTV. It's also said Topher had an issue with Mila Kunis having a lot of success outside that 70s show as well, and though these are all rumors, it kind of does explain why Topher's departure in the late seasons happened, and also why he's barely seen in any of the reunions for the show when the cast are hanging out together or when they're called in to do a group interview about the show, Topher is very rarely there. In the end though, the show ended because of many of the cast, including Mila, Topher, Laura, and Ashton feeling it was on too long and wanting to move on. So after 8 seasons, and 2 not so good seasons, that 70s show ended on May 18th, 2006, and after Topher was being absent from the final episodes, he returned for the show's finale, taking place on New Year's Eve of 1979 and ending as soon as it turns into the 1980s. Farmer's pouring the champagne. Hey guys, last one upstairs. Has to call Red a dumbass. <laughs> oh man. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now something strange is there was actually an attempt to make a That 80s Show, but it just wasn't the same, it only lasted one season, it was actually made by the same creators, but didn't have the same magic that That 70s Show had. So that's what happened, and that's how the show ended. Anyway, researching this show's history, there's some interesting side notes I found while researching this video that I thought I should leave for the end. So in 1999, there was an attempt at a British version of That 70s Show titled days like these. It was essentially a clone of the show with terrible actors and filmed on a crappy camera, but actually aired on British television for one season and you can actually find most of the episodes on YouTube if you're a fan of the 70s show. Also researching for this episode I found out why Lori was recasted mid-show. Lisa Roman Kelly was suffering from an addiction and was going through rehab and was essentially avoided as a character throughout the show. After it seems she cleaned up and she reprised her role as Lori on that 70s show, um, she became a regular character again, but then she later relapsed and lost it all. She was replaced by Christina Moore, and Laurie was again avoided being brought up to the show for the most part. Unfortunately, Lisa Robin Kelly died on August 15, 2013 after an overdose. Anyway, that 70s show is one of TV's greatest sitcoms and one of my personal favorites, so if you have the time, check it out. The complete series is on Netflix as of recording this video. And anyways guys, I'm going to leave you guys with this great compilation I found online of Red talking about shoving his foot in people's asses. Enjoy. And I was thinking I could turn your ass into my foot studio. And my foot will be nine-tenths of the way up your ass. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs put their foot in your ass. And I'm about to be sleep-kicking your ass. Oh, just a classic case of hands stuck in vase. Well, get it off. Or you'll have a classic case of foot stuck in ass. Morons just hung vacancy signs on your asses, and my foot's looking for a room. I wish I had 2,000 feet so I could put 500 of them in each of your asses. X is going to equal me kicking your ass. How would you like your keen eye to watch my sure foot kick your smart ass? And you are about to read a book that my foot wrote. It's called On the Road to In Your Ass.
Here we go. 